Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Ratum Ratum Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Capricorn uh, Sun Moon and also Capricorn Rising weekly general tarot reading January 24th up until January uh, 30th, uh, 2022. And uh, should you be interested uh, <clears throat> into skipping up the draw from your uh, for your star sign? And moving right away to the spread, you can definitely do that by using the timestamp in the description down below. Other than that, guys, uh, should you uh, enjoy the content on this channel and you do wish to um, support us, just leave a like and subscribe for the channel as well. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and our live streams. So with that being said, let's uh, make the cut and now uh, the draw. So the first card uh, for you, Sagittarius, that will be the Five of Swords, uh, followed by the second card here of uh, the Eight of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the Strength card, followed by uh, the fourth card of your spread, which stands as uh, the Judgment. And uh, the final card for you, Capricorn, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. So we do have those five cards uh, <clears throat> for, um, for your spread for the week. And uh, now let's uh, jump right away into the reading uh, itself. All right, guys, so you can see your spread on the screen here. And uh, as you may be able to tell, the start of the, of the week uh, is not going to be exactly ideal as we do have the Five of Swords there. Uh, however, uh, and it is very well de uh, described into this card that we do have, okay? So, how, however, regardless of what uh, hole you may find yourself into, regardless what rock bottom you are to hit at the start of the week, uh, it seems that you are going to make your climb from it. And uh, towards the uh, end of uh, the week, we do have some major uh, events taking place for you. They can be personal inwardly events, meaning something that is going to happen with you, okay? Like with your opinion or, or with your view and so on and so forth. Or it could be quite of an unexpected event. Uh, I don't want to say opportunity, but it could be an opportunity, and that is described here with the judgment. And it's going to be important because it uh, relates with the nine of uh, swords, which I'm going to talk about uh, later on, uh, significantly. So starting up here the week for you Capricorn, uh, we have uh, the five of swords, and we all know that that's not exactly an ideal card. Okay, uh, because the Five of Swords uh, does describes, uh, how can I put it into words? Well, at the start of the week, there will be a lot in stake with your career and with your love life. In generally, uh, at the start of the week, you will feel uh, a sense of emergency that you have to do something about your goals, about your wishes, about everything you want to accomplish. The thing with the Five of Swords, it is that <clears throat> the approach could be very reckless and quite inappropriate and therefore the result of that approach that may be your approach or it may be a colleague of yours approach or it may be you know your beloved one's approach may lead to humiliation and as well uh, a loss of trust okay where uh, for example you do something that's deeply insults the person you love and the thing with the five of swords is that probably you ain't gonna do it intentionally but nonetheless the results are there so you have to be very careful at the start of the week capricorn what you say what you do and overall how far you can stretch with your reach because the root of the problem with the five of swords it is the personal limits that you can extend to and sometimes you know people just extend further than they are supposed to they are overstepping boundaries you know which means that you may overstep certain boundaries uh, here uh, infiltrate a personal environment or like personal space of somebody uh, the Five of Swords also may relate to broke of promise as well, where you expected somebody to uh, hold up to their promises, but alas, 
the promise they gave you does not correlate with their current standpoint and therefore they prefer to break the uh the promise rather than to deviate from their standpoint and from their goal so expect at the start of the week to have these unpleasant um experiences of like i said uh, uh insults humiliation broken trust and so on and so forth on the grand scheme of things with the five of swords that card signifies that ultimately should you be reckless and uh, ready to give everything you can definitely accomplish what you are after but by definition with this card the price you are to pay about that win is going to be unfortunately more than you know but uh, after uh, you actually put up with the Five of Swords and you experience there what you are to experience, which you are not going to be quite, how can I put it into words, a fond of it, so to speak. Afterwards, the, nine, the Eight of Wands manifests. And eight of, uh, eight of Wands shows up that after the stagnation of the Five of Swords, and the bitter taste that you are going to have from these experiences little by little the environment that you are in the job that you are in for example the relationship that you are in starts to open up and there are going to be those uh <clears throat> how can i put it into words uh small opportunities here and there to have a better experience uh, to to have more pleasant experience so to speak and uh that little by little will become more and more and thus more and more opportunities are going to start coming your way to improve your current state into your career to repair for example certain damages that have been done into the uh very early stages of the week uh, <clears throat> To have pleasant experiences with people you love and so on and so forth now the thing about the eight of uh, wands though it is that whenever opportunity presents itself in front of you you should also face it with a clear-headed mind so to speak or in other words be very very objective about it because uh, the eight of wands does not protect you from from losses and therefore you may end up taking an opportunity at simply either you aren't ready for it or it is not to your style and therefore kind of like lose certain things like positions or um, again trust in the process but out of these opportunities um, something quite one of these opportunities is going to stand out for you that you are to be convinced that that is something you want to do you want to follow like for example an opportunity to date somebody that you are convinced that that is a your woman or that is your man maybe also a job opportunity for a job that you are going to end up convinced uh, convinced that's your thing that's the job you are supposed to work and we can see that into the middle of the week here with uh, the uh, strength card because the strength points that at the middle of the week, not just only you are going to find yourself persevered, persevered uh, from the uh, initial, like I said, a bitter experience of the week, but also at that uh, stage you are to find yourself figuratively speaking climbing a mountain where at the very top of it, at the very summit, it is the it, it, they are your rewards. <clears throat> Now, what is uh, common for the strength card is that you are to find people around you, friends, family, and so on, that are trying to convince you not to go forward with uh, that personally important endeavor. But uh, at this stage, you are going to feel no need to ask for approval and as well to constantly explain yourself to the people around you. You know that that's the right thing for you to do and you are going forward and doing it. And the result of that is a lot of uh, passion and excitement. You are going to be very passionate about your uh, about your things. You're going to be very passionate into your romantic life as well, very passionate 
passionate with with the, the uh, tasks that you are performing uh, into into your career and very passionate for the future in general and while like i said that is a climbing a mountain meaning that there it's going to be challenging you will not going to feel it that way the fatigue and the hardship that you are going to experience at the middle of the week is going to be as sweet as for example you were in a gym you know you worked out really hard and after the gym you feel that fatigue you feel that pain in your muscles but it's really sweet pain because you know that you did a really good job and that job is going to pay off so that is the hardship that you are going to experience at the middle of uh, the week and by the way uh, should you find yourself in a relationship at that point you may kind of feel the urge for sex or your partner may feel the urge of, of sex more amplified because that's how the strength card operates into existing uh, relationships and after that uh, after you start chasing that important endeavor for you capricorn the uh, judgment card manifests and the judgment here serves only one purpose and that is the confirmation that you are actually on the right track with your life you are on the right track with your uh, with your romantic and career experiences and, and goals and aims as well because with the judgment um, judgment is always like a wake up call and I'm repeating that in every single reading, but I have to for the newcomers. So it's like a wake up call. Suddenly either a, a strong revelation comes about or a very uh, fateful circumstances are appearing seemingly out of nowhere that are pretty much giving you the cue that you know that's your thing it's it's something you have to do and under that cue it's pretty much everything starts to make sense okay uh, and it feels that like your your life now is a complete puzzle or on an engineering tongue the shaft is fitting perfectly the hub uh, however um not however but additionally with a judgment, judgment could signify as well pregnancy and a birth of a child. That is very strictly for a expanding family. So if you are uh, hoping to end up pregnant or to have a child, you may want to start thinking about it and, and doing some effort into uh, efforts into that uh, direction this particular uh, this particular week but whatever it is to take place with the judgment either revelation or a very very important uh circumstances then at the end of the week here you're gonna finding yourself in a very deep deliberations about how to proceed forward with the nine of swords because in your case uh, capricorn nine of swords it is your complete fathom into the consequences that your actions are going to bring on the plate you know <clears throat> and uh, therefore you will want to take responsibilities for these uh, actions or rather like for these consequences and as any human being you would want to find the best way possible to diminish as much as possible the negative consequences and to amplify as much as possible the positive consequences however uh, <clears throat> because there are going to be consequences of any alike okay so they're going to be positive they're going to be negative out there you may find yourself being a bit fearful about making your approach about acting upon that revelation or important circumstances that are to show up towards the middle of the week uh, about your love life or about your career life and here i need to warn you that actually in reality there is nothing for you to be afraid of that is uh, something according to these cards at least you are destined to do one way or another if you skip it this week is going to re um, how can i put it into words repeat itself into a future week it may be two months from now couple of years from now 10 years from now but is going to repeat itself one way or another and uh just you can't escape that i mean you you just can't escape faith uh, at the end of the day another thing is that if you happen to fall in love is going to be a very strong connection here and should you happen to fall in love that should happen towards the middle of the week with these two cards okay and it's going to be strong connection because uh how can i put it into words you will whenever you do not spend time um <clears throat> with the person you are falling in love with you are going to feel 
their absence it's just is going to be so strong and that that will be vice versa for their side as well so you may kind of like should you happen to uh grow interest into somebody uh towards the end of the week you both are going to seek each other's presence constantly and uh it will be like you are not going to feel complete if that person is not around you and they're not going to feel complete if you are not around them as well so with that being said capricorn uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading guys uh, uh, january 24th up until january 30th 2022nd hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we may see each other next time until then bye